What's good, people? Welcome back. It's Jem here. Are you measuring bullshit? Sorry, I just got to put it out there like that. Are you? Are you measuring the things that make people busy, but they don't provide any impact? Today, I want to give you a metaphor or just an example, very loosely speaking, on how we can move away from measuring activity and start thinking about impact. If I were a personal trainer for you, right, and you wanted to improve, say, your, your cardiovascular health, Cardiovascular health is quite broad. It could be affected through exercise, your heart and your lungs, your actual fitness. It could be to do with your eating. If you were to reduce saturated fat, this is one, one theory, then that has a beneficial impact towards your heart health. And it could be to do with things like sleeping and meditating. Uh, and these things can drop your blood pressure and your heartbeat when they're done on a regular basis. What I've just described to you are activities, right? We started off with a goal of improving your cardiovascular health and we've spoken about some of the activities or even better yet, the word options, the options that we have in trying to make an impact on that goal. If we run five kilometers once a week, if we meditate every day for 10 minutes, and if we reduce saturated fat by whatever and then replace them with more veggies. If we were to measure the number of times that you prick the broccoli that doesn't mean anything. So imagine, and that sounds ridiculous, but I want to make this point. Imagine me peering over your shoulder and checking the number of times you have put holes into the broccoli with your fork for me to assess if you're making an impact. Or what if I was to watch you run and count the number of times that you moved your heels? It has no bearing. It has no relationship on effectiveness. None at all. I, don't, I, don't, I can't see how prodding the broccoli a certain amount of times or moving your feet in a certain number of, of movements is going to make the impact that we're looking for. So let me explain. So what should we be looking for then? Well, what are the actual results of these activities? What are the impacts, the anticipated impacts? In other words, if we are running five kilometers once a week, our resting heartbeat should either increase or decrease. It's going to go up or it's going to go down. That's what we should be measuring. What about if we're eating more veggies and less saturated fat? Well, we should see our cholesterol, our lipids, our triglycerides, whatever type of you know lipid profile you're talking about, move from one point up or down. It's got to be quantifiable. And finally, if we're meditating and we hypothesize that this activity would impact our blood pressure, same way we'd see our blood pressure move from one data point to the other. This is what we need to be measuring, not people's activity. And you know this all too well at work, right? Who works the most hours? Who creates the most documentation? And uh, maybe some, some people still get the good old, how many lines of code are we writing? How many unit tests will be created? Just because we're doing a lot of something, it doesn't tell us if we're making an impact. Now, moving the lens away from measuring activity, measuring the options that you have to make an impact on a goal, are super important for the empirical piece to learn. Because if I find that a five kilometer run is not making the impact that I want, and there's a more useful way of getting there, I don't know, maybe it's hurting my lower back and my knees, perhaps I can still make an impact on my goal of cardiovascular health through swimming or, you know, less high impact type activities. I hope that was useful. Catch you soon. Peace.